about 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.4, number 41. And here we were asked to find the sum of the first n terms of this geometric series, right? We want a partial sum. And specifically, we want the first 10 terms because there's 10 there. But things I want to take note of, I heard the phrase geometric, right? And I also heard series. So this means I'm adding terms, right? I have some kind of list some sequence and I'm adding the terms in that sequence and whenever I hear geometric things that are good to get are the first term in your geometric sequence or when you're adding it the first partial sum and the ratio so if I look at this let me erase my little two here the the first thing I want to do is I want to plug in n equaling and let me color code this I want to plug in n equaling one here and see what I get back out so that I can find a sub one so let me go ahead and do that I would have negative two times one half to the one minus one that's negative two times one half to the zero, which would be negative two times one or just negative two. So I know my a sub one value, which is great. And because we're given this, this series, let me undo this, because we're given this series in summation notation, I can see my r value. My r is always the base of that power, right? We've got an exponential term, and I say exponential because the variable's up in the exponent. And that exponential growth we learned about in chapter six, it, it plays out in geometric series and geometric sequences. So my R value is one half, all right? And then I do have a formula for a geometric partial sum. There it is. So I'm, I'm literally gonna plug in my, my numbers for that. So I'm gonna plug in negative two for A sub one. I'm gonna plug in one half here and here. And then for N, I'm gonna plug in 10, and that's what you see me doing at this step. And then it's a matter of plugging that whole set into your calculator. And there are a lot of parentheses here. So the first thing I would have plugged into my calculator is one minus one half to the 10th. All right, I would figure out what that was. And then I would multiply that number by negative two. And then I would go ahead and I would take a look at that denominator. And if I look at that denominator, that denominator is gonna be just one half. And that's what you see me doing at this step and moving forward with that. And then I find out that this is a really funky fraction, but the partial sum is negative 1,023 over 256. And if you wanted to do it the longer way, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. You could find a sub one, a sub two, all the way up to a sub 10, right? And what I mean by that is you can plug in n equaling one, n equaling two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to 10. And then when you find those 10 terms, you could add those terms together. And if you added those 10 terms, that would quite literally be S of 10. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.